Ladies and gentlemen, we have three men, one Home Depot. I copied Norm's intro and I'm completely fine with it. I've been deemed the YouTuber who cannot complete a single boat challenge. And I'm tired of it, really tired of it. So today I've brought the two guys that I know cannot beat me in a challenge. We have $500 Ooh. each, 15 minutes. You have to get all the supplies you can think of to build a boat right now. Right now, right now? <laughs> So we've got like 15 minutes to build a boat. Is that what he said? Yep. What the freak? Okay. Um, um. I don't even feel like Russian. I feel like this is my this is my element. This is where I belong. I've actually been doing a little bit of research, and these guys have only known about this challenge for the last 10 minutes. So if I lose, I should probably hang up my boat building abilities forever. I think we're supposed to have a time limit. The AO said nothing, so. 15 minutes. I'm gonna spend the first five minutes, maybe 10 minutes of my selecting. We have $500 to build our boat. Go, just going to the bathroom, because I kind of got to use it, so. I need a 12 inch diameter PVC pipe. I'm thinking I can build a legit pontoon boat. How wide is that? four inches. I need 12. Do you have any ideas at all? Uh, some buckets and some wood. Bucket, okay. Yeah, like wood for the actual boat. Yeah. Buckets for flotation. Yeah. what you're saying? Yeah. I like it. Dude, I don't see it. I've been planning this for weeks. I don't see the pipe that we need. Frick. No, that's the biggest one y'all have right there. Yeah, the biggest one I need. Need it like as long as a sheet of plywood. I'm trying to make a pontoon boat. I'm kind of on a, on a heavier side these days, so I'm trying to go yeah. thick, you know. I was originally thinking of pallet. When you said wood and buckets, that's a good idea, but they don't sell pallets here. Why can't we just have one? Look, that's what we need right there. But honestly, for five hundred dollars, we could probably build the equivalent of a pallet. Yeah. I agree. In fact, we could probably build something better than a pallet that would be a pretty cool boat. Hello. Um, impossible. You cannot record inside the store. Sure, if that's the, is that a, is that a rule? Yeah, this is a oh. private property. You okay. can't record without consent. Gotcha. So it's okay. making a few people uncomfortable. Okay, well, I'm sorry, we definitely so, didn't mean to do that. That's fine, yeah. I, I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. We're having an abandoned PVC pipe, but I'm thinking... That could be a pretty good pontoon. Maybe. You too, man. Uh, AO fishing is mine. We got Lojo in the back and then Fisher with Norm. Oh. Little trick is to sing the ABCs in your head so you know you got all the germs off your hands. Trying to build boats. <laughs> Gonna try, dude. I don't have a lot of hope. You think so? I'm hoping. I know, yeah, I know, dude. All right, man, y'all take it easy. Hey. Yeah. Okay. I apologize. Okay, can we still get our stuff and get out of here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. They're nervous. I don't know why I'm getting caught on video. So. Yeah, we can, that's, yeah. That's all. We understand. Yeah. We got it. We appreciate that. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Life can sometimes be a pine tree to your mini catamaran. Which is why today's video is sponsored by BetterHelp. BetterHelp offers you a place to go to find licensed professional therapists. You can talk with your therapist online in a convenient, easy way about whatever pine trees on your catamaran. The cool thing about BetterHelp is there's 20,000 therapists, which means there's options online for you to get therapy that your area may not offer. It's simple as going online, filling out a questionnaire, then you schedule phone and video calls that are completely confidential of everything you talk about. There's also unlimited messaging with your therapist. You can also request a new therapist at any time for no additional cost. So make sure to join the 2 million people that have taken charge of their mental health with an experienced BetterHelp therapist. Make sure to click on the link in the description. Go to betterhelp.com slash AO to save 10% on your first month. Now back to the video. What? 
What? Doesn't work. Oh, that. Come on, Home Depot. Should have gone to Lowe's. No planning went into this. Everybody already had an idea. Ao had like all these grand ideas in his head before he even came in. They just, you know, sprout the idea norm as we pull up to Home Depot. So I got to come up with something. But before I did YouTube, uh, graduated top of my class, FSU Engineering School, two years back to back. Uh, I ended up quitting engineering after I built a couple bridges because uh, fishing, YouTube, all that stuff. So you, you don't have anything yet either? No, management just asked us to not record. Yeah. Like several employees rolled up on us. Deep. We've been busted by Home Depot. It's not a big deal. We're just gonna treat it like an episode of Silent Library now. And if we get caught, we all go to jail, so. Wouldn't be my first time. <laughs> yeah, Norm, Norm, big jail guy. I say we have 10 more minutes and then we need to get out of here. I would tell him Ace Hardware told me it was okay. <laughs> <laughs> So guys, everybody got yelled at. So I walked out to the garden section. It just so happens while I was, you know, doing wholesome content of me washing my hands that Ao and Lojo both managed to get kicked out. Or not kicked out, but just told not to film. So I walked out here. I'm gonna try to find stuff in the outdoor section to, to use for my supplies. Well, um, I have to be a little quiet for a minute. Home Depot doesn't like me and customers. I'm just kidding. We were being pretty loud. So I'm thinking buckets for flotation here. You actually had a good idea. I mean, I think if you seal this thing up and it's airtight, which it should be, right? I mean, a bucket should like be. this. We might have to find a bigger bucket, but I'm just thinking like a bucket, close all the buckets up airtight, maybe even like seal them with something. You know what I mean? We got $500, yeah. so. But this might work as the flotation. Well, guys, uh, hmm. <laughs> Here's where my years of engineering come in clutch. If you guys didn't know, I have two master's degrees in a, in a minor and a major. So four degrees, all in engineering. Uh, did engineering for a couple years, built like, I don't know if you guys heard of it, like the Eiffel Tower, like stuff like that, that was me. But I ended up quitting all that, doing YouTube, it comes all back around to building boats, you know. Each five gallon bucket completely submerged would provide about 41 pounds of buoyancy. So if we had six of them, that's only 240 pounds. Could fill the bucket with something. Like what? Like a foam. Foam, that's not a bad idea. Dude, that's a really good idea. That would definitely help our odds. We need wood screws. Might get a couple pieces of two by four just because we have tons of budget left, dude. Tons. We also didn't talk in the intro at all. I didn't want to give them any idea. So gotta think of propulsion, maybe some type of homemade paddle. Just seeing it put together like that. Like there's no doubt in my mind, we're gonna float. They have them all locked up. That is so bad. We're gonna have to go ask an employee for a wheelbarrow. That completely ruins my plans because they're mad at everybody. I wanted this to be my main boat, like a wheelbarrow. Add flotation devices under it, but they're all locked up. They're only 120 bucks. It's like a fifth of my budget for the whole frame of the boat. I wouldn't even have to build anything, but they're all locked. I would still get it just because it has like trailer feature built in. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask him if we can get one of these. I'm, hey man, we wanted a wheelbarrow. So we're, how do we do that? So one cubic foot of foam has 60 pounds of buoyancy. So how much does one of these provide? How many cubic feet? Here's the thing. This is a $500 limit. Those buckets were like, what, 12 bucks a piece? I mean, so we got like 60 bucks in buckets. We could we could get a few of these. Like, yep. well, we're gonna have to get at least six, right? Because we don't even know if one of these will fill up a bucket. So we're gonna have to get at least six and then go from there. Don't turn. Just keep going. If I get caught, run for it. I don't want the whole team to sink. I'm sweating profusely. Oh my gosh. We have
have frame, tubs, plywood. Now we need screws and we're good. Five minutes left and we're cash, dude. So Shamika is hooking us up with the wheelbarrow. Shamika, I know you work here and it might be against the rules for a little challenge, but can you, is there any flotation device advice you got? <laughs> oh my God. Come on, we're a team here. Did you guys look this up first? Or no. I didn't know we were doing this until we pulled in the parking lot, so. Yeah, it's all this other guy's idea. I'm just basically here to, you know, help his videos out. He's been hurting on views lately. So, house is going to foreclosure, so I had to help him. You try a code one, two, three, four? I know the code. I was so close to stealing them, but you guys had a lock on, so I had to come inside and ask. So. <laughs> So I completely forgot that this boat that we're building needs to have some type of a propulsion system. You know, like what makes it move forward and such. Oh wow, this is a bad shot. So uh, I've got an idea on how to build a paddle. So we're gonna take this bad boy right here, basically like a broom handle. We're gonna disconnect it right there. We're gonna take that bad boy right there. Looks like the head of a paddle to me. I want something. Dear Lord. To go inside of the tubs just to make sure no water flows in. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, watch your shin. I'm sorry. It's so wide. It's like a barge. Shamika, not to rush you. This is like a time thing, so I have like 15 minutes to choose all my supplies. And we're like, you know, we're 10 minutes on wheelbarrow, but I mean, no, no pressure. Guys, maybe Ace Hardware, you can go steal a wheelbarrow, not at Home Depot. They got them locked up. It stinks, because I, I was the only one who didn't come with a plan. Everybody knew what was going on. I was like, oh, I got five ideas on how to make it float. Make sure you guys use code normal on squad.com since this is AO's channel. Helps me out. Figure I'd take this moment to make money off of them. Wood screws, check. <laughs> Yoink. Now we have to pay for it, Andrew. Yes, we do. It's too late now. We're in it. In too deep. It's gonna do a little three-point turn. Why would you make your aisles three foot wide in Home Depot? Oh yeah, my brand new boat. I can wheel it in if you want me to. You tell me. I can pay for it now if you need me to. Do you think I would be the type of person to steal? I heard what you said out there. Oh, you're right. I did say it. I forgot about that. <laughs> Ratchet straps acquired. Duct tape, baby. You can literally build a boat with it. All right, folks, we're super undercover right now. I think we legitimately have everything we need to build. I don't know if you can call it a boat, but it's something that's going to float and you can fish off of, and it's going to cost less than $500. So it's time to go build this thing. Buoyancy. The last thing we need to find is a paddle, and I know exactly what I want to use. It's on the other side of the store, so I'm going to take out one more family, and then I'll have all my materials. <laughs> all right, Shamika, we got an extra $370 to spend. So uh, I feel like we're pretty close friends now. What do yeah. you say? Yeah. Yeah? We hanging out this weekend? To the lake, to the pond. I got a new boat now. Yeah. I can't swim. You don't need to. This boat guaranteed is going to float. <laughs> People always love my painting skills. It's one of those things I just naturally do. We also get all the supplies for way less than $500. So now we can just kind of focus on accessories. Duct tape could be the best paddle in the game. Shaking really close to my cornea. Oh, we're going to the secret department. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. There is so many. There's more than five. Get all of them. Do you want all of them for real? Yes, for real. But these are like these, they're not the actual. Oh, okay. Well, we could just, I mean, we could buy all of them. Like I said, it's not, it's the other guy's money, so. Yes. Oh my gosh. It even kind of looks like me a little bit. <laughs> I found this piece of plywood in like a trash pile because it had a, uh, it had like on the back side, you can feel the, like the, the dents in the wood and stuff. Okay, so is that cheaper? 
Did you say 70% off? Gosh, dang it. I got damaged wood. 70% off. <laughs> off the top. My supplies cost $2.91. It's actually not bad. I'm highly impressed. I think I will be the cheapest. I think Norm is tired of me spending all the money in the 1v1v1s, so I think he's gonna stick it to me hard as he can. Revenge is sweet. Oh yes, if we can. Norm forwarded me to voicemail. We're gonna be waiting here for 30 minutes. Oh my gosh. Bubble cushion. Does that float? I don't know. What's that, man? Oh, no, you did not. I'm sorry. Yep, there he goes. That. You say you caught that. Dirty man. <laughs> All right, so what do you think about five-gallon buckets, but we close them and we just tape them underneath like that? And they're just like big floating. You know like a, you know what a pontoon boat is? Sure. I know, I know you go out and party. Um, <laughs> oh, it's like the party boat. Yeah, it's like that. Because I party a lot, so. Well, if Norm's not here, I guess he has to buy his own. Could you get my uh, no. my card number in yeah, there? No. Maybe my pen too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope your parents don't think I'm just a D-bag. Just picking, I love Tommy if you're watching. He's the best thing that's ever happened to me besides my wife. Thank you, you have a blessed day. And Davey Grady. I'll be third. You'll be third, for sure. Is that from your little plywood there? Or is this like about plywood high? Yeah, you I- You almost did that to me a minute ago. You almost yeah. ran right over me. I, I've been taking out knees, families, everything. Try to push it, it's gonna pop right here. Yeah, it's gonna come yeah. as long as water doesn't get in it. What are you doing? What are you doing? Is Dude, the problem? Stop hey, looking at you. I, I thought it was against the rules to have employees involved. I don't know what's going on here. No, 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 no. She hasn't helped at all. Okay, okay, yeah. that's fine. What is this? Jamika, don't tell him a word. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any faith in him, Zaid? No. Definitely not. He's just smiling, just German smile. It's beautiful, but there's not a lot of anything behind it. I don't know if what I'm saying is relaying, but. <laughs> oh, we're, we're good. $500, Home Depot has been spent. Now it's time to get to building. Gents, that could have been the longest 15 minutes of my mom. My... <laughs> of my mom. <laughs> my mom. <laughs> Gents, that could have been the longest 15 minutes of my life. Yeah. It wow. could have saved on car insurance. Missed out. We both got kicked out. Norm was just chilling with every employee in there. I we got kicked the out manager. and he befriended the manager. The <laughs> same people that threw us out of the street. So we have all spent $500 on the supplies that we believe we need. And we now have... I didn't. I spent $494.10. I like your dedication to the challenge. Yeah, yeah. I do. Yeah. Yeah. We now have 60 minutes to put together what we believe could be the best vessel or an, or an hour, whatever. 60 minutes. One hour. One hour. Got it. 15% on car insurance. Yep. Starts now. Starts now. <laughs> Nobody asked about the tools. Where, where's the saw at? What saw? <laughs> oh, they got tools? Okay, he's going to do all of his cutting and stuff first. Badge is already cheating in this challenge. You're supposed to all get access to the tools, but he's clearly gonna just steal everything so I think I'm gonna start filling the buckets full of foam for our flotation flotation exploitation flotation buoyancy what I'm gathering from Lojo is he's building a, a long skinny paddleboard the buckets are gonna elevate this paddleboard I don't know if you've ever been on a paddleboard but especially if you got some big upper body I don't see that ending well for him at all some man is rolling up staring at us weirdly hey boss we had your dog hanging out down here a little bit today Norm got a wheelbarrow. My boat is already made. That's what happens when you spend your money right in Home Depot. You don't have to build stuff. These guys are gonna spend an hour. I'm just gonna spend an hour rigging rods. On a real note, I just gotta blow up all these floaties. It's probably what I'm gonna spend an hour doing is just an hour of straight blowing, just inflating things with my mouth. So just gonna get started on that. I feel like you're just purposefully sabotaging my content now. You feel like it or uh, like, I, I was trying to make it pretty obvious that I was doing that. Stay long, you see my ball. Yeah, here. no, we saw three earlier. He's there was something, I don't know what he's, he's got. It might be a fish. I'm actually trying to figure out, he's towed it off some of my baby goats and I had two two babies. Are you kidding? Three man? days ago and I'm not sure I see them right now. Are you he's kidding? In Alabama. <laughs> That's incredible. Well, what, yeah. you know, what in the world are y'all doing? We are, uh, we're doing a little 
video for YouTube. We all had a certain budget at Home Depot to buy supplies, and now we have to build a boat. Dang. Dang. Completely forgot blades. I really think Norm did not think any of this through. When I say any of it, I mean absolutely nothing. I, I should have thought this through before I bought 97 inflatables. The only we should have bought is like a, a blower. So you got power tools and I have my lungs. And I had asthma until I was 16. We'll try to make this work. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. All right. I just want to get all these open and then put them all next to each other. That way I can just like start slaying foam and I'm... Dude, we're missing a bucket. Oh, there it is. I want to see what this foam is all about. Okay, let's see. Instructions. Don't need them. <laughs> Oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> this is not gonna fill up the whole bucket. So initially my plan was to do a PVC pipe pontoon boat. They did not have a 12 inch diameter pipe, which kind of threw me off my plan a little bit. So we have to make these makeshift pontoons. Do we have a pump? I'm not about to blow this up. Out of these $15 containers that we found. We don't have like a bike pump. It looks like there's already a position for a screw to go through and hold everything watertight. What about the little squeezy thing you use for the camera? Can I like, can I just... Yeah, great idea. Do you have it in there? We also bought way more foam than Lojo to make sure that these things do not come apart in the water. And this little thing gets dust off the lens like that. But we're gonna use it to blow things up. This won't work, this one needs mouth to mouth. When I tell you guys that I feel confident, that is an understatement. <laughs> I don't think this foam is gonna do anything. There's just not enough of it. Oh God, it's probably toxic. Maybe we could just fill up like two. I bust my shin on this three times. One right there, two on my upper shins. I want to start laying my stuff out here. That way I can get an idea of how this is going to work. So there's my two middle floats, my back floats, and my front floats, which I'm missing. I'm missing the top of a bucket here. Who's got my bucket top, Norm? Hey, is, uh, are there any other extra bucket tops anywhere? I'm missing one. It's going to be incredibly crucial to my boat. So I think we have literally just enough room to run a two by four down the side, this side in the middle, and then run something on the back side as well. Kind of gives an area for these containers to fit in good. Looks like that foam's going kind of slow. You got enough to fill up? half a bucket we'll get two buckets filled up don't you worry we got 60 minutes man i feel good i feel fine this foam is hella sticky it's drizzling on there oh yeah come on give it to me one thing is for sure we have to make sure these buckets are closed airtight we get water coming in these things it's going to be a short boat ride those buckets do feel a lot heavier now i've got foam in them yeah i wonder if it's going to do anything at all <sighs> Haven't taken this many steps since eighth grade PE. Yeah, I was kind of wondering how you were gonna manage to blow up five different floats. How many floats do you have? However many they had. I'm thinking we just attach two by fours on the sides and then we can kind of adjust where we need the middle braces. Um, did your brand new Ford F-250 come with a pump by chance? No. No. What a piece of garbage. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> I wish I bought some clamps. I probably shouldn't have bought the plywood from the damage section. I'm starting to see it kind of bows. That foam is so picky. Yes, I knew it. All right, shouldn't have blamed anybody. Had them in my truck the whole time. Mmm, it's deep in there. It actually bows really bad. If you guys enjoy these type videos, we get 25,000 likes on this video. We'll do a 1v1v1 thousand dollar houseboat build and we'll spend 24 hours on them. Nobody's agreed to do that with me yet, but I feel like they would. Hey, he was talking about doing this houseboat thing for a light goal. Not doing it. 
I don't even have a house. I don't know what makes them think to build a house, but I live in an apartment and I'm getting kicked out in July. All right. How wide do we want to make this boat? Right here at this knot? Let's try it. Let's see how wide this is. So almost four feet wide. Let's keep this thing three and a half foot, maybe. Good. Try to keep it like nice and aerodynamic. What kind of saw is this, bad? You're gonna get me killed over here. So this is gonna be the width of our boat right here. So kind of like, you guys can imagine. Oh. Boys, that's 30 minutes. Is it really? What? Yeah. Is that Eastern or Central time? <laughs> Dude, that's Eastern, bro. We got an hour and a half left. Oh, okay, perfect. Yeah, that's not. I was worried for a second. What I meant. I, still got a lot of work to do. I was worried for a second. I still got a lot of work to do. I'm about to put the wheelbarrow in the water just by itself. I don't think this is gonna happen. I cannot physically blow those up. There's too big of a hole and you have to keep your mouth on it or else it blows everything back out. For what? Oh, there's gunshots. Pretty sure there's a shirtless man blasting water turkeys at the moment. But you missed, I'm right here. Yeah, he's right there. I see rifle. That's the lake we're gonna go put these boats on too. Guys just popping shots right across it. Since my plan really isn't working, I decided, you, know, you guys have seen a lot of this boat building stuff, so I figured I'd take you on a chicken tour. Oh, where are your eggs? How do I get in this thing? All right, we're going in for the eggs. Oh, whoa, that one's got an egg in his mouth. Bro, what the heck? I don't know if I wanna go in there. All right, we're going in. All right, I'm going in, I'll be back. Hey little chickens. Oh. Hey guys, how are you? Oh, there's a chicken in there. Oh, there's another chicken. It's gonna be kind of cool, huh? I think so. I think we're gonna take it back home with us once we're done. That's how cool it's gonna be. Looks like either a twin size bed frame or potentially the underside of a vessel of some sort. They're spray paint all over the lens. I just want to get all of our cuts made. I just want to paint. I don't know. You spray paint over there? Yeah, I spray paint a little bit inside my boat. Did it? Anything? No, it's not even showing up. That's no idea. We're gonna get everything attached, then we'll flip it over and attach the wood to the platform. Then we're gonna fill all the pond. Ah. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Code Norm Gugan. Bro, it's been on there for at least 15 minutes. <laughs> well. We have four beams horizontal, two full length. Now I think we need to waterproof the tunes. We should be pretty dang close. Not only does this help it float by keeping it buoyant. So I think these containers have plenty of buoyancy already. I did no math at all. It's also an added safety feature. My hope with this foam is not to fill all these containers up. We only have 15 minutes left and Norm used half my foam. Because bubble wrap would make any boat accident a little bit more cushiony. I think we can use this as a sealant though to make sure that none of the potential holes fill up with water. <laughs> Nothing, man. Little phone seal. I don't know if that foam's supposed to be on your bare hands, but it's all over me. Yeah, I know, you man. too? Yeah, good luck getting it off. Are you still sticky? I'm glad you told me to take my gloves off for the sake of the challenge. So we got a boat here. It's, I know it doesn't look like much, but let's just see. I mean, I'm looking at my competition over here. I'm just like, I think I got a pretty good shot, but we have got one more thing to build and that's a paddle because we got to be able to get around in this thing. Yeah. 
Yeah, we're gonna do a little spinny spin. You already know. We gotta get some tension on there, you know? Don't let me cut your hand off, man. Good. You give you guys a little Moana visual demonstration. It'll be Fatigue is setting in. Everybody's kind of realizing that their plan was not as good as they once thought. Ah. Oh my load. Did they make it through? Did they make it through? Are those all screws? Yeah, they are. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is like a boat building saw episode right here. <laughs> oh my gosh, imagine not knowing how to build a boat. As long as I just walk outside my shoulders and I stay directly in the center. It does feel quite stable though. Minus the pain in my feet. It reminds me of the opposite of my last relationship. I don't understand. It just looked stable. Uh... Okay, I'm done screwing. Been screwing so much lately, it's ridiculous. I'm gonna foam every single screw tip coming out just so I know where they where they are. As long as I don't step on a white little fluffy, I'm fine. It's really not as bad as you think. I meant to say gravy. 10% off. You know the deal. paint job is as consistent as my academic career it's not terrible as a paddle i'm duct taping a rake i think it's going to be probably the best paddle there is he duct taped a hoe to a stick i'm duct taping a rake norm well norm's norm <sighs> gentlemen that's the longest hour of my life. That was incredibly long. Yeah, yeah. very long. Yeah. Definitely just an hour. Yeah. The boats are complete, and I am feeling very confident after seeing your, your builds. Would you like to show Thank us you. what you've come up with? Yes, I do, actually. All right. All, right, so, uh, all right, guys, so what I did, I did not have a blower. So it basically foiled all my plans. My plan was just to tape every single inflatable item in Home Depot onto a wheelbarrow. Uh, that didn't work because I ran out of air in my lungs. But we have bubble wrap around the wheelbarrow. Is this I have protection this. or you know like what's, buoyancy? everything that's okay. uh, that's the thing is multiple use is everything i added on here has more than one function right so um <laughs> learned that in engineering school okay thank if you you would look at my boat stable compact what's that coat on the side right there gravy no gravy. the yellow one the original i uh, can't see it oh okay. gravy there's too much gravy on I hadn't, it i hadn't seen it so. yeah i'm just walking on mine nobody else will try their boat out on land what that's pretty stable. Okay, look, I'm just gonna be the first one to say it. Just because a boat is stable on land does not mean it's gonna be stable <laughs> in the water, okay? Oh, you wanna step on yours? I, look, that has nothing to do with it. We're not in the water want? yet. You know what? I'll show mine now. Show yours. Now that oh, you, that's you, fine. All right, so I kind of took the, the primitive approach. I just went straight two by four for the entire build. Simple frame, almost looked like a twin size bed, really. <laughs> like the box <laughs> yeah, spring, where the box spring goes, you yeah. know? And then just put some buckets underneath. I've got foam. The middle one's like completely filled with foam. Good. Like it is, it weighs like 50 pounds. I like that. So, are you afraid that it's gonna end up being like heavy on one side if there's too much foam in one side and not the other and you're just gonna go like face first or back first however the only thing i'm worried about is how i'm gonna handle all the fame that's gonna go with the championship when we go fishing off these boats <laughs> that's the only thing i'm worried about this is Thank probably you. the longest video i've ever filmed in my entire life <laughs> we are just finishing the boat builds they're pretty pretty good i'm happy with them i feel extremely confident we now have 60 minutes until the sun sets or one hour the three one hour the three criteria for this challenge, whoever stays the driest, whoever catches the most fish, and whoever has the most fun. I like that. <laughs> Time to dip in, see what happens. Oh, you hey, hey. Dude, you right, got your one. end is the front. Oh. Woo! Oh, God. That was a lot, man. Thank you for that. I, didn't, I was not asking you to do that. Come on, man. My Walmart. Oh. Oh, yes! We're in here, baby! Help me out, brother. That looks like my toilet break I took halfway into my boat building competition. <laughs> I got you. I'm um, <laughs> round 85 with the doo-doo water. I'm feeling so confident 
Ah, my hip. I'm just Bo Jackson, my hip. Yeah, okay. I'm right. Oh, Lojo can't be the first one in. Okay. The boat is floating. That's good. It might work. Ha! Are you floating? I don't know. It's possible that I'm not. Let me get off the ground. Light work. <laughs> it's just really tall. It's like too much buoyancy. Am I floating or am I on the ground still? I, <laughs> I think. Sinking. No, it's not. Don't say that. It's not sinking. Uh, oh my lord! Hold on. No, it's fine. It's just settling. Oh, first cast. He is here. Yes. Oh, I cannot oh. believe that you're still on top of the water. I'm still on top of the water. This for real, don't fall in this water is icy. Yeah, it is cold. Dude, this paddle is legit, dude. No way. No way. Oh. Shut your mouth. Oh. I wasn't even, I thought I had grass. Bro, I almost just hit my boat. Norm's not even in here, no baby. Way. Woo! Let's go. Good chance I'm not going to float. Yes. Oh the bite is on, gents. The bite's on. We're about to catch a bag. So, and that's why you should never help your friends, guys, and be selfish like AO. Oh, it's so warm. I love how warm this water is in summertime. It's just really tall, dude. I bet you we all three could be on here and it wasn't safe. I'd take that, man. Let's get on there right now. <laughs> you might have to pick me up here. <laughs> oh, where this is my life jacket. All right, Norm. Are you serious? You shut your mouth. Say it ain't so. <laughs> Oh, I you look so that. dumb right now. <laughs> <laughs> you could have put a trolling motor on there. That's what I'm saying. Hey, the thing's floating good, too. Oh, oh, you just lost a bucket. You lost a bucket. I got a fish. I got it. Oh, Let's man. go. Oh. <laughs> on the primitive raft, baby. Let's freaking go. Dude, the bite is so hot right now, dude. All right, buddy. I love you. Dude, my shoes are just thick enough where the screws are not puncturing my feet. Here comes the fun part. The wind has blown me across the lake in approximately 12 seconds. Should have drilled some rod holders in the back of here. I so could have. You always realize the modifications you could do to a boat after you're in the water. If I try to turn around this thing, I'm sender Senator. Oh! oh I that... lost the pontoon! Oh, I lost no. the pontoon! We're leaning. Oh. We're leaning hard. Oh my lord. The duct tape is failing. It's so cold. I really don't want to go in. And I just got these Lululemon pants. Because I'm bad and bougie. Norm Joseph in designer pants to a Home Depot boat build. The whole rake paddle is kind of putting in work. Ayo, my hamstrings are firing off right now. I'm cramping so hard I can't move. I think you're fine, dude. You just keep keep working. Are you sinking? Oh, freak. Ah. I'm leaving the boys behind, going to greener pastures. Nobody's fished the cow pasture yet. Get oh, in the water. I thought I had a fish. Ooh. I'm going to full on jump in my boat just to show you how good this is. Nice. Nice. Oh, did you have that same fish? I have a fish right Dude, that's right, right where he bit me. There's one stump all the way across the lake that I think could be holding the biggest fish in the lake. Can you jump in your boat? We don't need to talk about that. I've got a paddle. Right <laughs> I can move. What I would pay to have Davy Gravy cheering me on right now. I would empty my bank account out for this man. The wind is just destroying me because my high tunes. I would love not to be blown into the bank every three paddles. This is when the challenge gets real. We're tied up. I don't believe they've caught another fish, but we could do some serious damage. We just stick with it. Now's the time. 
I can't let Shamika down. <laughs> Shamika, guys, I told Shamika all about the challenge, and I told her I was gonna catch a fish for her in my boat. Uh-oh, boys. No! Took my whole tail. Dear Lord. Shamika, I hope you're proud of me. I'm trying for you. The sun's going down, but I'm putting my all onto this for you. This is for Shamika. Gosh, I see a corner that I want to fish so bad. Standing timber. Felt like I just got destroyed. Oh, do you have it? I have a big decision to make. I can either stay and fish or I can go to where I think the big bass are. It's going to take a full lake pass in wind, but I've never taken the easy route. And I don't know why we would start now. You got this, Aid. Ah. Oh, I caught the paddle. Ah. Just gonna take a little pit stop, make a cast. Oh, I thought they caught a fish. Norm just now has a means of transportation. Oh, I got one! I got one! Let's go! Yes! No! Yes! I am the best. Nice. Was that that same one, you think? I hadn't even reeled yet. I was waiting to catch the paddle. Turn around, I started reeling, and there was a fish on it all the way out in the middle. There we go, guys. Boom. There we go. Got a nice little rhythm going now. See, now we're moving. He's sitting down. That's probably, that's probably honestly smart to sit down and paddle, but I'm also not a punk. I feel like I probably should have just stayed with those guys. Sometimes working harder is not smarter. Come here. Oh, my God. oh it's the biggest bass in the lake, baby. You see how he was pulling? Yeah, that's number two for me, man. I think I just took the lead. I don't think bad just caught anymore. All that matters is we know that AO lost. Oh, I got another one. Dude, dude, he might even be. Oh, <laughs> let's go. Come here, baby. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I am so good at fishing. Well, I guess he deserves it. He is in a wheelbarrow. It's so crazy fighting a fish in a wheelbarrow. <laughs> it feels so much different than being on land or, or in a boat. <laughs> yes. And your face, grandma. All right, guys, fish number two for me. Freaking nailed it. That's two casts in a row. The challenge is not going the way I thought it would. To be honest, they floated for about 10 minutes and then they're doing exactly what I'm doing. They're not really floating. They're just kind of docked up on the bank. It's kind of lame. Dang it. Bro, your boat is at a solid like crescent curve. It looks like the moon after three days of sunlight. Dude, you are concaving right now. You're missing some support beam. <laughs> Come on, girl. Yep. My boat's sinking and I'm still fighting through it. Oh, wow, there it is. <laughs> Whoa, dude, it's breaking, yeah. Oh my God, multiple boards have broken loose. I gotta step off this thing. Oh, I'm gonna tip off. No! Ah, I can't let it go, it's got rods on it. Dude, my boat is falling apart as we speak. Multiple boards have come loose, one right there. One right there, oh my God. You know what's crazy is my boat, it's good. Like, I don't know why. I feel safe right now, which is weird. I am pleasantly surprised with how well the boat's doing. I knew it was gonna do good. I just didn't know how well these $15 containers were gonna do with a platform, a framing system, and a 200 and, well, you don't need to know that. Dude, oh no, my freaking float. No, it's floating away, jeez. Oh my God. It's literally stuck on the thing. 
Oh, jeez. Yeah, why don't you come free my boat from uh, the purgatory it's stuck in? Well, guys, for the record, I've been filming for now one hour and four minutes. My boat has not sunk in one hour. So what I think I'm gonna do, because I can't really move my boat because I forgot to make a battle, I'm gonna hop out, but not because I have to, but because I've casted at the same piece of water 55 times in a row and not got bit. So. <laughs> oh, Norm. Oh, the mud is hugging my shoe. Yeah. I might lose it. Oh. Dude, talk about a good boat. <laughs> Yes. Oh, look at her. She's still floating her little heart out. What a princess. We both caught two fish, but we're kind of laying a hammer on AI right now. <laughs> yeah. I don't think he's caught anymore. <laughs> I don't think he has either. And I, I think, think he's, he's I think he's low-key mad. He's hating his life. He's right now like, cause... my job is to build boats, and Norm bought a wheelbarrow and wrapped it with bubble wrap and beat me. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what's going through. If he never says it, he's a liar. I just told myself I was gonna fish to this corner. And I have to do it. If I caught a big fish right now, ooh, it would be so rewarding. Fish! Yes! 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 I told you, the dam has the bass. <sighs> Yes, that was a good good challenge. Yes, it was. How many fish did you end up catching, by the way? I kind of lost sight of you. Two. So a three-way tie. That's We fantastic. all caught two. You caught two? I did. Yeah, no. we all caught and two. he caught so we, two. Yeah. But here's no. the thing. Okay, here, yeah, yeah. So the rules were most fish, we all tied on that. Right. Floating, Lojo's... All tied. Well... Lojo's kind of started concaving a little bit. Yeah, my, a couple of my boards came loose. So like the integrity <laughs> yes. of the middle of my boat was like popping loose. Three yeah. was have most have fun. Most right. Fun. And I definitely had the most fun. You yeah. definitely had the most fun. Yeah. So. I was not enjoying the paddling. <laughs> well, Norm, you were a joke the entire video and then you won. So yeah. story of my life in your face, Mom. If you're a joke, there's some encouragement. That's a testament to the human spirit right there. And so I, I do feel like I did take the dub and I was confident the whole time. Cause I always end up pulling winds out my rear end. But what I do think we need is cause it was pretty much a three way tie. If you really think about it, we need mm -hmm. a tiebreaker video, Woo! which is why we yeah. need to hit that light goal and do the one V one V one houseboat and uh, run it back. Cause this was too close for comfort. I feel like, Amen, brother. if you guys want to see me drop some serious jangle, build three houseboats <laughs> and 24 hours oh, yes. and I will spend the maximum amount of <laughs> I guarantee you Norm will you. This is my good friend Thank Lojo, this us. is my good friend Norm, their links are in the description if you want to see some fire Airbnb content. Oh, 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 do I ever! <laughs> to see you guys on the next one, I love you. Oh my gosh, I saw that guy in the display, terrified me. We're in love with my baby, oh! Ariana! This isn't Grande, right? This is a different no. one? Oh, okay. yeah. I just didn't know if you are clouded like that. Ariana, we try to make this wheelbarrow float. We need your help. But there's no noodles at Home Depot. We're not at Party City or wherever they sell noodles at. She's scared. She's not going to Yeah, she's not. She doesn't like me. Like most women, 